So we're going to do that now. So we will do that part and all you need is your fan brush again or a flat chiseled edge brush that we discussed earlier. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our fan brush and we're just going to go through white and what we'll do is we will make we'll start under the under the hills and rocks because that will be a good guide for us okay so just get your white and put it underneath that rock all right just make a line first we don't want it like just straight line there we're going to pull out and then we're going to drop down a little bit and add a little bit more white. just drop down and add a little bit more white okay all right put more paint on if you need it so you you come under the rock and then you drop down and add a little more white a couple of little white lines there okay got it by George I think you got it all right now let's put some water lines under this rock straight line pull underneath the rock good get some more paint let's pull in in there a little bit and underneath this rock all right good and a few little leftover lines good and now another line under this rock white come out past the rock a little bit and move away from that one and put a couple of little white lines underneath that good get more white on your fan brush or your flat brush underneath that rock Oops. underneath that on top of the rock <laughs> okay so underneath the rock good and then just little jerky hands jerk, jerk. there we go there we go there we go it's not tap 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 it's just little quick strokes that's what it is quick strokes I almost didn't know what to call it there for a second little quick strokes good that's all just little quick strokes make it easy for you marvelous and let's put a couple of lines water lines up here a little quick strokes jump down a little bit and bring in some more and put a few wherever you want them you know you can put a few here and there all right good see how little white lines gives it a little bit of a a nice little look see just a couple little quick lines off your fan brush so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing in here. This is where the sun is. Just, you can tap it on. See those little lines? You can tap them on. Let's see if we can get it closer for you. Good. So, just you can just touch and just tap them on so that you don't get you know heavy streaks. Just tap them on. And then move down the center of your canvas those little tapping motions and make them tinier and tiny even if you have to use the cornier brush okay and just tap 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 until you get it down to the beach and we'll come even on top of the rocks how's that how is that it's our world so we can put in what we want where we want even if it doesn't even make any sense it's your little fantasy world it's your little fantasy world you can bring that down the beach mine looks a little crooked but you know not everything is perfect oh maybe there's a little bit on the rock there i don't know i don't know i'm just making it up as i go along because the other painting doesn't have it exactly the same as that you see just came down on the beach and smoothed it out a little bit down there okay so that's that 
and we can straighten it up a little bit because it does look kind of crooked, doesn't it? I can't teach it. I don't want to teach you stuff that don't look right. But I have a lot of faith in you guys. I know that you, uh, you're you pretty smart. So up underneath here, there's probably a little sun peeking out. I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of white there. And I'm going to clean off my brush. And I'm going to try to make some sun rays. Sun rays coming out. So I've just got a bit of white in my brush. I don't know. We'll find out now if it's too much or not. But I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to pull out a little sun ray here and here and here and here and here and just pull them out short little strokes again okay there we go now you can bring them down close to the beach good 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 now now we're almost to the end so now we're going to put on our beach um, that white the beach coming up on the water coming up on the beach okay so all you do is keep your fan brush and keep your fan brush and load it with white both sides and take your brush and touch wherever you want to start touch push 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 and pull over don't lift your hand keep going 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 that makes it so much easier to do perfect so whatever's left over on your brush bring it behind the rock as if the water came in here maybe some water came over here right good maybe some water came in around here drag some water you can even turn your brush this way and drag some water over your beach there we go take the corner of your fan brush and just bring up a, a couple of streaks of white just to show that the water still is coming up into the beach almost and a few streaks here just a few little we're going to add a little blue to that. We're going to add a little blue so that it looks like it's beach water. There we go. That's better. Gives it kind of a. And let's get some water underneath, going underneath here. You know, you never know. The water could be coming in and going up on the rocks here. Just use your imagination to think what might be happening. And if you put some blue on your rocks, it may make it look like just water on your rocks. There we go. So that's that's that much, and you can play with it, do all kinds of stuff. You know, you you decide what you what else you want to do with it. If you got any questions, you can certainly email. You can do some more highlights on your rocks. There's so much more you can do. I mean, you can see there's tons of tons of things you can do. Okay, but you know that's the beginning, and that'll help you get started on this beautiful painting. And uh, if you really like this painting and if it helps you today, like I said, don't forget you can certainly email me at alisonpryoryahoo.com if you have any questions. Um, I think. Uh, this painting is pretty nice and uh, it can do a lot more things with it if you want so you guys go ahead and do this painting and have some fun with it you can also thicken up your clouds more and I'll give you the picture again so that you can you know get some more ideas there's a picture that you can compare it with okay and if you like this painting please comment and like and share and subscribe <laughs> you'll be all day <laughs> and you know I'll do another painting for you so I would say this is Alison Pryor signing off and I'll see you in the next video